QSAVE command. If you haven't saved the file yet, the QSAVE command will save the drawing. And it will pop up the Save Drawing As dialog box. So, I'm going to go up and use the QSAVE command, which is the little floppy disk up here in the Quick Access Toolbar. When I pick on it, when I pick on it, it opens up the Save Drawing As dialog box and allows me then to save the file and I can then pick on which folder I want. Now if I want to back up one level, I click this button here and I pick, I can go backwards and up the tree, up one level. And so I can click on the folder I want, I double click on the folder I want and I can come in here and say, oh, um, what's the file name I want? Well, I want to say it's the Q save example. And so I want to name the file down here. I do not want do not want to put the .dwg. AutoCAD will do it itself. All I need to do is pick the folder that I'm in. If I hit the down arrow here, you'll see it'll show me the whole tree that I'm in. It'll show me the, the, the drive I'm in, the folder, the subfolders. So I have a subfolder, 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 all the way down. Now, uh, also, we have the type of file. I'm saving it as a DWG. It's an AutoCAD 2013 drawing file type. If I hit the down arrow, you'll see that there's older ones here. There's a 2010. So if you have some clients who have an older copy of AutoCAD, uh, you might want to send them this. So essentially, every three years, AutoCAD has a new file type. So the AutoCAD 2013 is good for AutoCAD 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016. Okay. So, um, every three or four years. Also, over here we have a checkbox where I can update the sheet and view thumbnail. So it gets a little preview uh, when you have have it saved, so you can see what the drawing looks like. Uh, so if I need to create a new folder, I can come over here and say create new folder, and it'll create a folder inside of this folder. So, uh, I'm ready. I got the queue save. I hit save. Boink. And now notice up here on top, the name of my file is already set. Alright. So, a lot of times, I'm going to close this. I'm going to start a new, uh, a new blank drawing. And I might say I'm going to go with an AutoCAD DW. T, and I'm going to call this, uh, I'm going to go right off before I even start drawing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my Q save. I typically like to save my drawings right away, so then you don't forget, okay? Then you save every 10 minutes. I pick the folder I'm in. I can hit the down arrow, pick whatever folder I'm in. I can navigate up one level, if not. I come down here, I name it. You save example two, okay, and I can say save. So now I'm ready to start drawing. So I always save every ten minutes from this point on. So so that's how we use the Q save command.